Hi guys and good morning. So today is the last day. Well, not even today. This morning is the last time you're going to see me with this dark chocolatey hair. Um, and it's actually still wet. So I went for a run this morning, took a shower, and in just about an hour and a half um, after I make my steak, eat my steak for breakfast, maybe some eggs, um, I'm going to head to the Salty Blonde, which I have never been to her before. Um, and I'm excited to see, you know, what we can do. So we're gonna put in Heavy Dimension um, and we are gonna be going back blonde. This has been so much upkeep and I'm just ready to be back to my natural color. You can see if you look like on the sides of my head, um, my hair is growing back in and it's like super blonde. So I kind of look a little bald when that starts to grow in and I've been coloring my hair every week. I colored it last week and it's just, it's too much. So anywho, um, hi, how are you guys? <laughs> Let me know in the comments how you are. What have you been up to? How's your family? How's your life? How's work? Um, today we're going to be talking about a much like needed discussion on the difference between Grease Charnel X-Straight and Grease Charnel. So I have both of these on. I have the X-Straight on this wrist and then I have the original over here and I'm going to be respraying. I just wanted to kind of sniff them side by side, dry down. I've had them on for about an hour, um, so sprayed them right after my shower, and there is much to talk about. So um, I knew as soon as this came out and I got wind that this was coming out, I knew I had to have it. First off, I love BDK. I think that it's an incredible, incredible house, and I just, I love Grease Charnel, like absolutely love Grease Charnel. It just, to me, it radiates this very unique, very elegant, very just sexy without, like an effortless sexy. This is like what I've described in other videos as kind of like you have a white t-shirt and jeans and you spray this on. And even if you had like a messy bun, it gives you this like effortless elegance. So it really just kind of takes an outfit and just completely changes it, completely classes it up. It's just a absolutely stunning perfume. So you really can't go wrong with Grease Charnel. Now, I know this is not everyone's cup of tea. It has fig in there. I don't even know the full notes, but to me it smells very much like an Earl Grey, kind of like a tea. It kind of has that tea type of essence to it. I think it smells absolutely phenomenal. It's just a very unique scent. Kind of spicy, very warm, a slight bit of creaminess. It's just a very, very, very elegant, unique perfume. Now, the original, when it dries down, to me it has this like warm inviting spice with that kind of tea note and I'm gonna pull the notes up of both of them So I have fragrant I got pulled up and Grease Charnel was launched in 2019 um, The nose behind the fragrance is Methyl Biaju um, Top notes are Carmadon, Fig, and Black Tea. So yes, it has that like tea in there Middle notes are Iris and Bourbon Vetiver So no wonder I personally like this because I love vetiver um the only time i didn't really love vetiver is sultan's vetiver by i believe nishane had the sultan's vetiver i'm not sure if it was nishane or another uh house but that one to me was just too woody too dry i like a very warm vetiver like if it has amber in it or tonka bean something to kind of give it a little bit of warmth um this just is like next level beautiful so it has that bourbon vetiver in there and then the sandalwood really gives it kind of that creaminess and the tonka bean so that's the original and the sandalwood gives it like a slight creamy woodsy warmness that just smells absolutely phenomenal i think of this fragrance as kind of like a cozy sweater fragrance not necessarily a summer fragrance however between the two of these guys i would say that this one would be more summertime appropriate because the dry down is a little more creamy a little more woody 
where this one kind of hits me with more of like a pepper spicy I mean it is intense it's it's a more intense version so the extra we're gonna pull up the notes I believe they're the same notes it's just at a 30% concentration but let's go ahead and get that pulled up okay so they're literally the same exact scent except for this one does have cystus and canis which I do not know what that note is. I would have to look that up. So we're gonna go ahead and look that up. Um, it is a hybrid between Cistus and Crispus. Okay, so I guess it's kind of like a floral. I'm not quite fully sure, but it looks like it's a floral. Um, and then there is Indonesian patchouli leaf. So this does have a little bit more vanilla in here. There's a Madag Madagascar vanilla cedar and Indonesian patchouli leaf. So there is some difference between the two. Um, they smell extremely familiar, extremely similar. The thing that I picked up with the X-ray was it just has more of a spice to it. And I think adding that patchouli kind of gives it like a little bit more of a kick, a little bit more woodsiness, a little bit more of that bite. Um, whereas like the original, it's, it's very much like a more creaminess. This one's a little bit more of like a date night of that woodsy spicy kind of sexy um fragrance like it plays really nicely with the black tea in here but this one when you spray you can definitely smell like the first upon first spray and you do not need much of this by the way like one spray is it's gonna last you like all day i promise i sprayed this on my shirt before bed and the next morning I woke up and could still smell it. I had slept eight hours and I woke up and it was just still so potent. So very, very potent, but I definitely pick up on that patchouli. The patchouli really, really stands out to me. I can really pick up on that patchouli, which normally I don't like patchouli without rose, but in this with the black tea, with the cedar and that vanilla, it just is so pretty. And it gives it this like warmness to the other notes. So it kind of like brings everything together. It's a warm, woodsy, spicy. It's like a very classy hug. It's just a very beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I'm so glad that I got my hands on the x straight because this one, I just, I feel like if I did not get this one, like when I first smelled it, I was like, they're very similar. The black tea really stands out. That's like the very first thing I smell is kind of that fig and black tea. Um, reminds me of like tea time or a Russian tea room. But this one, that patchouli really gives it like another life of its own. It's just those, those other notes that are added in here give it this really beautiful very distinct scent compared to the original. The original we're gonna go ahead and spray on this side. And I can't believe I haven't like done a full review on this yet because it is just such a beautiful fragrance. Um, one thing I did notice is spraying these two, I can smell the alcohol in this one. Um, whereas this one, I believe since it is a higher concentrate, it's like I believe 30% concentrate, um, you're smelling more the oils. so. You really don't have that whole like dry down period as much with this one compared to this one. This one's more of a warming up and unfolding, whereas this one, you have that dry down and it's going through the phases. Um, so like right after that initial burst, I really do get like such a sweet, creamy, you can smell the sandalwood in this one. That's one thing that I do really pick up on after that black tea kind of it doesn't evaporate because it just dries down to this like sweet black tea, this sweet creamy black tea. But the sandalwood is something that really, really stands out in the original. It's something that just kind of like warms the skin. It's almost like a sunshine kiss on the skin. Um, but yeah, so those are the two BDKs talking about today. I'm going to show you guys the bottles. So BDK does have a very simplistic bottle, which I find very beautiful. Um, it's very thick glass, very well made. You can tell I've used this quite a bit. It has quite a dent in it. Um, the caps are actually very heavy and sturdy. It does have the BDK um, logo in the top of the 
of the cap and the caps are a really cool shape very modern and then the sprayer is black it gives very very good spray so if you're someone who looks for that in a perfume where it's you know going to give you like a nice spray this one is awesome for that i feel like i really do get a nice mist out of the um out of the nozzle and same goes for this one same exact bottle okay and the funniest part about all this is you guys i seriously thought that they were two separate sizes when i bought the x-rate i was like oh it's a smaller bottle because it's the x-rate it's more concentrated but no they're actually i just realized thank god i'm going back blonde <laughs> I'm just I fit the blonde okay sorry for the blonde joke but I had to make it um I literally thought that this was a smaller bottle when I was picking it up I was like oh it's gonna be a smaller bottle it looks like a smaller bottle but they're the same size they're both 100 ml um so it is 100 ml I believe this one was a little bit more expensive yes this one is 280 compared to the 180 I paid for the regular grease journal so it is a hundred dollars more it is fantastic. They are very different. Is it worth buying the X-Rate if you already have Grease Chernel? Now, this is where I will say if you absolutely love Grease Chernel and you're a diehard Grease Chernel fan, you wear it a lot, You, it's one you reach for, it's not too unique for you, it's not too out of the box for you, it's something that you truly enjoy. I think if you, as long as you love like kind of that woodsy, more sensual, scent you're really gonna like the x-rate so yes it would be in that case it would be worth it to buy the x-rate as well do i think you need both not necessarily i think honestly i could probably get by with just one but i really do love grease chernel so much that having a backup bottle or having one that's very similar to it but slightly different um just helps me to stretch the longevity of this bottle so this is something that I grab and wear so often. I mean, I've only had this bottle, I think, for two months, and I've already made a significant dent in the bottle in accordance to how big my collection is. I have quite a few bottles. Um, I actually just got rid of, I decluttered like quite a few bottles as well. And I noticed that, you know, I don't always use a ton of perfume. I had a perfume that I recently just gave away that had such a small little bit used and I've had it for three years. So it's kind of like one of those things where if I'm making a dent this big and I've only had this for two months, um, this is gonna be one that I will probably need backup bottles of. So I can alternate with this to get the same effect. So I could alternate with this one and get the same effect. And you know, it will be a really good way to experience and play with them. Um, this one for me is gonna be definitely more date night may wear it during the day but it's definitely something that does project so if you are wearing it spray with caution you don't want to go too crazy like with this one i feel like i could do you know four sprays five sprays and it's the perfect amount whereas with this one i feel like if i spray two three sprays it could maybe choke someone out very much a heaty cloud around you very much patchouli, sensual, you know, all of that just envelops everyone around you. So um, this one, I would go a little bit lighter on the sprays till you get your feel for it um, and you kind of see how it wears with you. So that was my review of BDK Grease Chernel versus Grease Chernel Extrait. Extrait. And um, I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, Give me a thumbs up don't think about it just hit the thumbs up subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i will see you in the next video um and don't forget that you are amazing you are wonderful and i want to start putting in positive affirmations for you guys and things to help you along your journey in life and i realized everyone's kind of going through something in their journey and everyone's going through their own you know we're all going through life together, but we also have these things that we are all going through separately. So I just want to remind you that you're a badass and I adore you and I hope you are going to have a fantastic week ahead and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.